Bullets can kill what's already dead. Quite by accident, I discovered a thousand dead bodies in the woods. I didn't know how they came to be there, but that didn't matter. They shouldn't be, and yet, they were. Their dried up, desiccated remains were the ungodly things of nightmares. I might have been more traumatized, but the unburied corpses were thankfully sedentary and long deceased. Had any of the corpses decided to reanimate and address me when I found them, I wouldn't be able to compose this testimony. An asylum would be my new home. Even now, I wonder if I should check myself into a competent facility for observation. I'm fully aware that what I'm about to divulge doesn't sound sane or rational, but it absolutely happened nonetheless. My first instinct was to back away slowly and pretend I didn't see the mummified bodies stack up like core wood. The mind has limits to what it can deal with. If I called the authorities about such a morbid discovery, there would be questions, lots of questions. Had I stumbled upon some kind of serial killer dumping ground on the short hike? The mounting paranoia in my head worried me that I would become the chief suspect by lazy detective proxy. I convinced myself it was simply better to reverse course and erase the uncomfortable memory with copious amount of high quality alcohol. The problem was someone put those bodies there. They didn't individually march into the forest and expire from natural causes. I knew murder was the unified reason they came to be congregated together in the mass dump site. By the appearance of their advanced putrefaction, the crimes had been committed long time ago. But for all I knew, the killer was actively hunting. Drinking myself stupid wouldn't prevent me from becoming added to this rustic woods collection. I remained stone cold sober and hyper vigilant that night and for several more, all for a terrifying scenario which might never occur. Unfortunately, the adrenaline edge needed to stay hyper focused and fully alert for such things is not sustainable forever. No matter how desperate the circumstances, the body needs rest and the brain needs sleep. Once the Sandman arrived, I crushed hard. So hard, in fact, that I slept for almost a day and a half. I awoke with a violent jolt. My eyes frantically scanned the room left to right to ensure I hadn't allowed the unknown taker of lives to slip in and add me to his grim tally. There was no immediate signs of danger, but my runaway concerns still had my heart pounding. and I let my guard down. Immediately, I leapt out of bed, partially to secure the perimeter, but mostly because after 30 plus hours in a dead sleep, I desperately needed to use the bathroom. I can't describe, I can't begin to describe my horrified state of mind when I smack into something obstructing the hallway. I shriek as warm urine ran down my trembling leg. I backed away from the unseen obstacle with the 
spastic grace of a startled cat and flipped on the light. Nothing could have prepared me for what I witnessed. Nada. Nada. It was one of the dried up corpses from the mass burial ground in the woods. It was one of the dried up corpses from the mass burial ground in the woods. The uninvited cadaver stood rigidly in the hallway, motionless as a statue frozen in time. Its milky, unblinking eyes starred a hole through me like an emaciated mannequin. Thankfully the unexplained body in my hallway wasn't moving or doing anything. But that didn't matter. The dead man belonged in my home even less than he belonged lying in the forest with the rest of his expired companions. I was understandably agitated for several moments. I expected it to come to life at any moment and attack me. When nothing dramatic happened, I didn't know how to process it. Had it been eerily posed in my house to frighten me by the murderer himself? Such a macabre provocation was on par with what you would expect from a diabolical mind. But why not just kill me outright when he had the chance? I had fallen asleep. He had the upper hand. What logical purpose would this creepy cat and mouse game serve? I darted around the flesh marionette and ran to the front doorway. It was still dead bolted from the inside. The rest of my house was equally secure. All windows and doors were sealed from within. It made no sense. How did this homicidal... How did this homicidal madman achieve such a baffling feat and why bother? Yeah, I didn't have the answers, but to my surprise, the stationary standee previously occupying my hallway was now partially present in the bathroom. I hadn't been far enough away that anyone could have gotten past me to move the grotesque human sculpture. And yet, it had been. I ransacked the closets and double checked every room for the culprit. Despite my glaring disbelief, I was the only living soul in the house. Even more mortifying, the dead man was now standing fully within the bedroom. Even more mortifying, the dead man was now standing fully within the bedroom. As much as I wanted to attribute the baffling situation to an out-of-control imagination or self-sleep hallucinations, evidence to the contrary was overwhelming. Somehow, when I wasn't present or watching, the dead man's body was moving. It didn't bother. I didn't bother arguing with myself over the possibility or logistics. My unknown visitor came closer every single time I looked away or blinked. His face was frozen in a contorted mask of pain from whatever ended his life prematurely. I had to face facts. Why was this restless murder victim haunting my home? Misplaced revenge? I wasn't about to find out. I sprinted around the body to flee for my life, but lurking in my living room was yet another petrified pit. You can imagine that I came to a screeching halt before colliding with gruesome number two. On a skinny dime, I shifted gears and drafted into my study to grab a hunting rifle from the gun cabinet. 
To my consternation, another of the freeze-dried crew was already sequestered there. As with the other conspirators, it appeared to be fully motionless, but it was obviously working in tandem with the others to corral me. I fumbled helplessly with the bullet. Without looking away too long, I did my best to jam it into the chamber. Regardless, a rapid-fire glance at the entrance confirmed my suspicions. My other rotting house guests were in the process of entering the studio too. I realized it was just a matter of time until the entire cabal joined us for an uncomfortable meeting. As much as I tried, it was impossible not to blink. The more I resisted, the greater my eyes water and burned. They ached and itched from excessive emotional strain and mental taxation. I shouted in defense, Do not come any closer, I mean it! I'll shoot! The three unwavering spokesmen of the underworld stood before me with a nearly identical haggard expressions. I assumed their seized facial muscles had been permanently frozen at the moment of their untimely demise. Suddenly, my eyes grew increasingly heavy. I struggled to even hold them open at all. I fiercely fought the urge to close my eyelids just for a brief second or two, just to soothe them for sweet relief. It was incredibly tempting, but I knew what it meant if I did. I fought the good fight, but in the end, they came down like a wave of heavy snowfall. It was impossible to prevent. I stood there in blind anticipation during the self-imposed darkness. La justice divine viendra bien assez tôt pour celui qui a étouffé nos vies. Mettez fin à notre douleur mortelle, maintenant. We können nicht töten, was bereit. Tod ist. Wir wollen endlich in Frieden ruhen. Bitte gebt uns ein angemessenes Begräbnis. Die göttliche Gerechtigkeit wird noch früh genug für die ewige Gruppe, der unser Leben ausgelöscht hat. Beende unsere tödlichen Schmerzen jetzt. Kule nie mogą zabić tego, co jest już martwe. Celuje wreszcie za zny spokoju. Prosimy podobny pochówek. Boska sprawiedliwość wkrótce do sięgniętego, kto pozbawił nas życia. Zakończ nas śmiertelny ból teraz. I heard one of them reply with a raspy, gravely tongue and a serbic wit. Peace. 
Please give us a proper girl. The justice will come soon enough for the one who is not supposed to arrive. In the martial pain. Now. Day. They. They eventually spoke one or two languages I could understand. Then the voices did say uh, vanished. Um, al final hablaron una o dos lenguas que yo pudiera entender. Después de eso desaparecieron. Se desvanecieron como polvo. Al final hablaron una o dos lenguas que yo pudiera entender. Después de eso desaparecieron. Se desvanecieron como polvo. Hepuhui bad. The Marcin son of Tai Coxi, sit and he lahti bat, he katosi bat. Il s'en parlait. Je réussis à comprendre quelques mots. Puis, il s'en disparut comme de la fume. Esta tu na sorpresa. Non me lo aspettavo. Ho capito alcune delle cose che hanno detto. Nem, nem samito tam arra. Immediately after the posthumous funerary request, my eyes shook back open, as if propelled by a giant spring of moral duty. Thankfully, they were gone, but I knew the supernatural experience wasn't a dream or a vivid hallucination. A faint scent of decay lingered in the air and my floor bore unmistakable evidence of multiple ashen footprints. I grabbed a shovel and other digging tools. There were a dozen restless souls lying in the woods, long overdue to be buried. Was bereit, tot ist. Wir wollen endlich in Frieden ruhen. Bitte gebt uns ein angemessenes Begräbnis. Die göttliche Gerechtigkeit wird noch früh genug für denjenigen kommen, der unser Leben ausgelöscht hat. Beende unseren tödlichen Schmerz jetzt. Kule nie mogą zalić tego, co jest już martwe. Chcemy wreszcie zaznać spokoju. Głosimy o godny pochówek. Boska sprawiedliwość wkrótce dosięgnie tego, kto pozbawił nas życia. Zakończ nas śmiertelny ból teraz. Bullets can't kill what is already dead. We wish to finally be at peace. Please give us a proper burial. Divine justice will come soon enough for the one who suffered out our lives. End our mortal pain now. ইতিমধ্যে মারা গেছে গুলি তা মেরে ফেলতে পারে না 
আমরা অবশ্যই সেই শান্তিতে থাকতে চাই অনুগ্রহ করে আমাদের যথাযথ দাসন Rulers can kill what is already dead. We wish to finally be at peace. Please give us a proper burial. Divine justice will come soon enough for the one who snuffed out our lives. End our mortal pain. Now. halálos fájdalmunknak. Most. Tidak dapat membunuh apa yang sudah mati. Kami berharap akhirnya bisa damai. Tolong beri kami pemakaman yang layak. Keadilan ilahi akan segera datang bagi orang yang menghabisi nyawa kami. Akhir penderitaan panah kami. Sekarang juga. Meidät kunnolla. Taivallinen oikeus tuomitsee heidät, jotka sammuttivat hänkemme. Päättäkää kuolevaisuutemme loppetuskaan.